ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the recap and review of NCIS Season 12, Episode 23, The Lost Boys. This episode is exactly what you think it will be until the last five minutes. Then it becomes what you thought it would have been roughly five seasons ago. Not quite sure how that works. So the episode opens and it's the bus and it goes from zero to a hundred real quick. Well, we're already at a hundred, so it's like a hundred to a thousand real quick, but oh my god, it's like bodies and deformed faces and people's arms and limbs in shreds. <sighs> it's just real Rob Zombie real quick. They see this boy at the crime scene and he runs away and Gibbs is chasing after him and then he disappears into thin air and Tony's like, what did you see? And Gibbs is like, I don't know, perhaps nothing at all. Life is fleeting just like the rest of us. I like that for like a hot second. The, the plot of this episode was, is Gibbs seeing dead people? I'm laughing because I just remembered what the actual plot line for the next episode is. And we meet Dorney, and Dorney's hella confident, hella ready to go because he has an alter ego, and I would be lying if I said I didn't try that. And he's Gilroy Libs, and Gilroy Libs is just too good. Too damn good. It's amazing, Dorney's confident in his own skin, well, in Gilroy's skin, but like he's happy and his, his life is successful and he's going to Egypt, oh my god, what an amazing life he's having. Sucks that it has roughly 40 minutes before it expires, but you know, like right now, it's just amazing. They talk to one of the people who was involved in like a subset of The Calling, and she's psychotic, but she hates The Calling because they're distracted from life's real purpose, according to their other terrorist group. And so she rats them out, and she's like, murder them, and they're like, oh god. Gibbs finds the kid and brings him home. He's, because he's real. And speaking of ghosts, Kelly's brought up. But Kelly, like, scratched her initials with a knife into the cabinet, which is such a Gibbs bloodline thing to do. God help us. So that's etched into his cabinet and also his heart forever. It's kind of a mishmash of everything going to hell uh, from that point out. Basically, the kid was going to leave his parents, and so he wrote kind of like a runaway suicide note, but he couldn't bring himself to finish it because he loved his parents too much. And it was like, even though these kids are acting this way, they're still human beings, like they're still kids that love their parents and just don't feel like they fit in. While that's happening, McGee and Dorney are in Cairo, and McGee's interviewing this SS builder, I believe his name is, the prisoner. So the guy's like, ha ha ha! Fooled you all, I've got a surprise waiting for you. And yep, he does the robot right there. But McGee's like, oh my god, Dornigit! And then Dornigit's fearlessly clearing everyone out of the area because of his alter ego and his life is good, so we know what's gonna happen next. You know what, this might have been SS Builder. Bob the Builder's counterpart. And so he sets like a tripwire and then your random neighborhood idiot just trips it and then everyone has to pay the price. Good going. The bombs, like, just rise because they were looking for German S-bombs in this episode and they're just, they're, they're here. Um, and rather than blowing people up, I thought this was such an interesting stylistic choice. In the beginning of the episode, there was so much gore and gruesomeness. And then here he, Instead of being blown to smithereens, he literally gets like a scratch across his face. Probably not one of their cooler death scenes. I mean, it was pretty intense, but we all knew it was coming. And again, I don't know how you just come out of something like that. Just like, oh man, scratched myself in my sleep. My eternal sleep. So it seems like the episode's gonna end there with like a to be continued, but no, it doesn't. And this is where it gets real. Dorna gets being pulled off the... Um, carrier in his coffin and they weren't gonna wait for the mom because the mom was supposed to be really late but she ends up coming right then and she's the special agent who's going to be guest starring for the rest of this arc i didn't know she was going to be his mother i think that's so badass oh god he had it in his bloodline who knew that's where gilroy bad bad leroy brown came from 
you go, Mom. She's like, we're gonna get him. And then Gibbs turns his head. And off in the distance is many, many dead people. I don't know what else I was expecting, but these familiar faces are familiar faces, except they're dead. So I think it's his dad, his mom, Dorney, obviously now, Kate, Jenny, and Mike. And I think there might have been some other people, but Mike's the real important one, as I will talk about in the spoilers and theories video next time. This was brought up by someone else before, not me. Jenny, whenever we bring her back, her CGI is just so not there. Like, there's always... Everyone else's was pretty darn impeccable. Even Kate, who left in 2005, when... That was... That's 10 years ago. Technology advances so far in a year that within a decade, particularly between 2005 and 2015, you know, the leaps and bounds are just crazy. And even her CGI was pretty good. Whatever's... Whatever's happening with... Jenny's CGI. Whenever Jenny is like brought back, she always has a green shadow around her, like she's in a 1960s space feature. I don't, I don't understand why, why her? It's always in the episode where she dies, but we've seen before, for whatever reason, that stock footage just didn't hold up. So I think we might have to change episodes because if it's an entire episode of her walking like the Green Lantern, I don't think it's gonna work out. I have a lot to say about this left field arc. Just please keep an eye out for the next video because it might be a hefty one. Um, so that's The Lost Boys. Interesting episode. It, again, exactly what I thought until it wasn't. So I'll see you guys for the recap and review of NCIS season 12 episode 24, the season 12 finale, Neverland. Second start of the right and straight on till morning.